You good, Sarah? I think some mobs are respawning outside. Uh, Sarah, I'm going to move into the building proper. Just a quick heads up. Make sure I'm reloaded first. Great. I think I'm going to try to get this weapon used. Because not only do we need durability with it, but... What does this say? Oh. Okay. I guess someone maybe beat us in? Here we go. The evolutionary thing for the $5 tip, my dude. I really appreciate that, man. Level 50 major gutsies. Holy shit. There's a lot of high level enemies in here. Um, Alright, Sarah, you ready, dude? I'm going to take that as a yes. Identify yourself. Oh, good. One of them is deploying smoke. Oh, great. Yeah, I know, right? Right? Exactly. Okay. Um. Oh, God. Yeah, go get him, Kanich. You got this, buddy. Whoever that guy is in the power armor staying in the back, what a pansy. Letting all the little guys that don't have power armor run forward. Oh. Wait. Oh. Military grade duct tape. So it looks like they piled. Oh, look at this. They piled all of the files in the middle of the room and there's gas around it. So were they going to set this stuff on fire? Maybe they were trying to clear this place out before something happened? Hmm. How do I deal with the weight and storage issues? Uh, lots of different ways, man. I almost, I'm almost, I almost need to make a video on that. Oh wow, that is not a lot of damage. One of these days, these guys are going to drop that weapon. One of these days. I'm going to be a very happy man when he does. If I remember right, I liked that weapon in... Four? Yeah, that was that weapon was introduced in a DLC in four, I think. No, it's not a Gauss rifle. It's it's a it's an electricity based weapon that can like jump between enemies and stuff. It's a, it's a really cool gun. I remember really liking it, and I used it like as a main for a while. I think it's a Tesla rifle. That might not be correct though. Oh, it is a Tesla rifle. Okay, cool. Collecting technical data? I have no idea why, but I'm doing it. I calculate your chance of success to be. Well, I don't want to be morbid. Is that an Assaultron? No, it's you. What, what, what? What is this thing? Archival dispenser? Okay. 
So maybe we can activate this with another terminal. And then come get something down here. Did I miss a terminal in here we can activate? Yeah, I did. Project Siphon holotapes are strictly controlled resource. Under no circumstances are they to be issued to anyone ever without my direct approval. In addition to be hi being highly classified, just one of these tapes is twice the annual budget of our entire division. If you check one of them out, the system will log it and you'll be answering to me. We've had several reports of disk write errors this morning. It looks like we abruptly ran out of storage on our primary mainframe overnight. Until we can get this sorted out, I brought a secondary tape drive online. Please reboot your terminals and everything should be working again. Hey, Pat, I need a favor. I'm sure you've heard the story by now, but I've had a little mishap in my lab last week, and I've wound up with too much data for the mainframe to process. I was wondering if I could borrow one of my old siphon tapes just for the weekend. The general is expecting a report on Monday, and unless I can pull my data together, I'll never be able to analyze it in time. It'd really mean a lot to me. Please, Pat, I'm begging you. My job's on the line. McAllen isn't going to take any more excuses, not once he sees the bills I've run up. I have to have something to show him. Isn't there anything you can do? It's just for the weekend. I'll have it back to you by Monday, I promise. Tuesday at the latest. Controlling Division, SIG Int Analysis, Primary Contract Patricia Nunez, Research Contract Kyle Lockhart. Developed by Sugar Grove Advanced Research Projects Division, the Project Siphon Data Exfil Exfiltration Holotape can scan a target network for data sources of interest, copy and compress that data, and extract it for later analysis. Due to cost, a very limited number of Project Siphon Holotapes have been produced. Access is strictly limited to covert operations specialists of grade 5 or above with prior authorization. Hmm. Access logs. The last one was checked out on 91086? Nine years after the bombs? Also, one was checked out three days before the end of the world. 73077, Mitchell MIA, siphon number one presumed lost. Dispense a holotape. Shotgun shell removed. Unable to write to the log file. A disk write error occurred. Why did you remove a shotgun shell from me? Wait, what just happened? Oh, my security credentials have expired. Okay, um... Who took my shotgun shell? <laughs> and give it back! It's mine! Um... Hmm. Uh, uh, Int contains pert to crap better melee weapons. Thank you for that, Phil Trinelli. And then Lore Dispenser with another thousand cheer. Really appreciate that. Fam Trinley. Thank you, dude. Thank you. I did get the holotape. Did I? Oh! Ooh. Cool. Okay. Do, 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 do. I don't know why, but this ambient music is some of my favorite in the game. It's just so dark and sinister. It really fits the environments. And every time I hear it, it gets stuck in my head. Do, do. Yeah, it's like spooky. Man, this place is big. Here's another archival point. Project Director's Terminal. First, I want to apologize for misunderstanding you. When you said there was an issue with miners at the Rusty Pick, I thought you were referring to underage drinking. On a related note, there's actually a problem with underage drinking at the Rusty Pick, but I know it's not what you meant. <laughs> the recordings we took seem to indicate pretty anti-standard anti uh, pretty standard anti-automation stuff. A few calls for unionization, that sort of thing. Okay. Mama Dull says. I've been following this place ever since I sent you the... 
Oh, shit. Bro? What happened? You okay? Oh my god, look at that map. Okay, wait, no. Focus, go, focus. Uh, okay, real quick before I keep reading this, I really gotta pee. So, um, I'm gonna go use the bathroom real quick. Mods have something special coming through chat, so keep an eye on there, and I will be back in just a second to continue exploring this awesome area. Back in just a sec. Oh, dude, this guy just, I think this guy just saved my ass, maybe? I got you, buddy. Mm. There we go. Beautiful. Hey, Shanti, how are you today? Okay, let's uh, pick up right where we left off. I've been following this place ever since I see that report about the strange overseas wire transfers we trace coming out of there. I sent word of it to the one of the boys in DC and you'll never guess what came back. After bouncing around a few shell companies all around the world, the money finally landed in China. Consider this my formal request for a full surveillance op of the Mama Dolce's facility in the interest of national security. We found a Chinese base under that place. How awesome. Do you already have some equipment out by Monaga? I was out there setting up surveillance for the mission you assigned me, and I came across a device that looks suspiciously like one of ours. We didn't have something going on there, and forget about it, did we? The thing looked like it was freshly installed. I didn't end up installing anything because I wanted to clarify the situation with you first. 9-20-77. That's a month before the bombs fell. Hmm. 
Grafton communists. Huh. Okay. We don't have enough intel to know whoever's organizing the strikes. It's the same one that sabotaged the mill with whatever was in that powder. Okay. Huntersville? With all due respect, what's the meaning of shutting down the Huntersville op? Are we taking orders from the army now? A complete media blackout, I get, but covert surveillance is literally what we do. What's going on in there that's so secret we don't have eyes and ears on it? Huntersville? I've never even heard of that place. Free states. Here's the latest on the free states. After the secession, we were picking up loads of activity, but they've been pretty quiet ever since the real interesting ones, like Blackwell and Clay, locked themselves up in their bunkers last month. For what it's worth, we managed to infiltrate a few of their lines of communication, but again, they mostly seem to be staying put and waiting for bombs to drop. As if the enemy actually has the guts to pull a move like that on American soil, he says, 10 days before the bombs drop. Cool. Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I'll update you on anything noteworthy happens. As far as I'm concerned, they can sit there and stew as long as they want, or at least until we can free up the resources to deal with them good and proper. Disk write errors. We know about this. Okay. Okay, so this is all the intramail. And then we've got Project Somnus error. Don't move. Maybe he won't see us. Yeah, yeah darling. Okay, babe. Oh. Well, that guy's going for it. We're out of water. Oh. Do you not have a weapon? Oh, this is the best kind of gutsy. Douche. Hell yeah. No uh, epic weapon, though. That's too bad. Ooh. Okay, let's go on this other side next. And then we'll go down in the center. Oh, I thought that was some kind of crazy weapon for a second. <laughs> Maybe next time. Johnson, you bonehead, I know you've been stealing my lunches. Did you honestly think it would go unnoticed in a facility that was literally built to watch and listen to everything? Hell, I'm the guy that designed our internal surveillance system. Pay me back double and return my plastic containers or I'll port what you do in the bathroom to CDR Gould. I'll report what you do in the bathroom? Dude. Low blow. Low blow. Oh, that's messed up. That's messed up. See you, bud. Hey, long recon scope for plasma rifles. That'll be nice. Okay. Yeah, look at some of this stuff here, man. What is that thing? Huh. There's a lot of interesting things here. What's up, man? Just gotta get my ball peen hammer. Oh! Blank hollow tapes. What? In the trash? By the computer? Yo, what was this guy doing? Do these weigh anything? No, they don't weigh anything. Cool. Okay. Hey Kyle, I'm seeing a big spike in the power draw from your lab. Are you running some kind of test over the weekend? I'd appreciate a heads up with this kind of thing. I had to switch to a couple of aux generators to keep up with demand. Looks like you have a runaway terminal process. Something's bloating one of your data files. It's chewing through storage fast. I don't want to interrupt your work, but if this keeps up, it's going to start interfering with operations. Do you want me to flip the breakers in your network circuits until you get this under control? Kyle, these numbers are insane. I don't know what you're doing there, but you've burned out eight generators in two days. I've had to tap the civilian grid and get the transmission lines, and the transmission lines are close to maxing out. You know the reports of brownouts in Monica? That's you. 
Your lab is a hard line into the base's power, so I can't just cut you off. If this thing keeps up, I'm going to have to advise a general. The bill for this is going to be astronomical. We've had several reports of disc errors this morning. It looks like we are abruptly ran out of storage. Yeah. Let me know when you get back from vacation. We need to really discuss your data storage needs. Project Pulsar? I've had several reports that Project Pulsar is consuming an excessive amount of sugar grows resources. The facility is crucial to ongoing war efforts, and any interference in base operations is absolutely unacceptable. If you're unable to exercise proper discretion and judgment in your work, you'll be replaced by someone who can. I'll be conducting an on-site inspection Monday, 1025, two days after the bombs. At that time, I expect a full report on your research projects and an explanation of the recent incidents. Look, Kyle, I'm sorry, but you dug your own grave on this one. Yes, we still have two siphon tapes left, but I can't loan them out for personal use. That's why we took the project from you in the first place, remember? And Kathy is so uptight about cost control with that the system logs every interaction with them. If I were to try and sneak one out of the lab, she'd have my head. I'm sure you can find some other way to copy your data. At least blank holotapes are cheap, right? That's why there's so many holotapes around here. Oh, man. Vertibot bugging network. Self-directed Vertibot swarm capable of covertly accessing enemy installations, hacking to mainframe systems, and extracting data of interest? Well, that's awesome. What did it say at the bottom? Engineers estimate indicate that Vertibots equipped with Project Locust Tech would be approximately the size of a consumer sedan, <laughs> making covert action by a swarm of such robots infeasible. Siphon. This is the data extraction process or pro thing uh, project. We know about this. Barrier. Radiation suppression field? Canceled. Barriers to develop an electromagnetic suppression field capable of dampening gamma radiation, providing a counter to radiation weapons and enabling agents to operate in the aftermath of a tactical nuclear strike. Although initial bench tests were promising, the project barrier field emitter requires exponentially more power to operate at scale. Okay. Shielding a 20-foot area requires a power supply equal to three industrial nuclear reactors. Yeah, no. Spotlight neutrino pulse emitter. Canceled again. Remotely scanning enemy installations and reconstructing an internal map of the facility. A field test of the spotlight emitter was conducted on a civilian office building on 622. Subsequent news reports suggest that most of the resulting casualties were caused by a sudden mass psychotic episode resulting from the scan instead of the scan itself. Although spotlight tech has potentially military applications, its usefulness as a covert operations tool appears to be limited. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And Pulsar is an EMP weapon. Disabling or destroying turrets, robots, and other... Oh, dude. Research logs. Four freaking tests. That's all we've accomplished today. Four tests. Having the robot fabricator in the lab helps, but our test cycles still take far too long. After every test fire, we have to break down the robot, analyze the damage, reset and recalibrate the weapon, and wait for the fabricator to assemble a new robot. Okay. Three days later... Got it. Found a way to automate the testing process. I can set up the fabrication pod to assemble a robot, pipe the fabricate steam, fabricator steam release into a hydraulic actuator to trigger the weapon, and then have the fabricator disassemble the robot and save off the results. Rinse, repeat. The whole cycle takes about eight minutes. Great. About a week and a half later. I wanted data. Well, I've got data. Somewhere in there, I'm sure there's a usable result, but it's buried in 58 tape drives of steaming hot crap. 58 drives. That cute little automated test routine has been eating all the data storage on the base. Oh, that was the issue. Oh, his thing worked. <laughs> oh, man. Nothing. I've got nothing. The test data is fragmented across the mainframe, and the system can't handle the volume. I can't even access all of it, much less analyze it. I keep hoping I can convince Pat and the analysis to give me one of the siphon tapes. If I could just get all the data in one place, maybe I could come up with something, anything. So that's why he wanted the siphon tape. He wanted the siphon tape to break into his own network and compress all the data into a little area so he could then analyze it, get to his boss so he doesn't get fired. <laughs> oh, I love it. Download project data? Please return to the main menu and insert a blank format of holotape to begin download.
Man, if only these were put in some kind of order. Resuming copy oper operation four of 183. Oh no. Is that how it's going to be on all of them? Yeah, four of 183. Okay. Um, let's try the siphon tape. Oh, he wants to trade? Wait. Oh, he's trying to use this. We can both use it, man. It doesn't... doesn't you don't need to... Where's the siphon tape? Much clutter. Uh, I don't remember what it was called. Oh, how about at the very bottom? Download data. Boom! Woo! Awesome! Upload the data into the fabricator. We will do that. Beautiful. Okay. So I think that's what we needed to do to get the um, the quest done with the mystery peoples. So that's awesome. That's a big step in the right direction. All right, let's go see what's in this main area. And then we're going to do the quest for um, the Enclave, which is another big one we're working on right now. Can I loot that? Yeah, I can. Give me that two ball. Hey, Magus Baggins. How you doing today? Military fatigues. That could be cool. Always check your turlets. Do, 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 do. Okay. I'll take those. Yoink. Oh, thank God. I think we actually need some water. Need the springs off of the clipboards. Cool. Get the tape. Oh, do I have to eject it? I th I thought that was all automatic. Oh, let me let me go double check that. Thank you, chat. Definitely thought that was all automatic. Uh oh, it was in the other side, wasn't it? I think, it, I think it is automatic. Because the quest continued. Yeah, it definitely automatically came out. Yeah, don't worry. Thank you, though. Always up for double checking. Can I go in here? Oh, this is where he was running the tests. Damn, I really wanted to get a copy of that weapon. Oh, fuses. We're gonna go where Sarah is next in just a sec. I'll take some vodka. Okay. Looks clear there. Nope. Signet system terminal. I think that's probably what we need for the Enclave quest. Or maybe we need that. Well, it doesn't matter. Oh. Ooh. I want to say we may have had this one. Yeah. I'm Willie Fryer, investigative reporter for the Charleston Herald. I'm currently standing just outside the security fencing of 
one of several horn ride industrial sites that have cropped up around the area in recent months. I'm here tonight to try and get some answers about what has become known in certain circles as the Mother Lode Project. Could this be the answer local mining families have been looking for? A series of new mining projects that could reinvigorate the local economy. Or as the environmental groups have suggested, could these be a fresh set of toxic disposal sites, poisoning the ground beneath our feet? At the very least, according to local experts, the area's recent increase in seismic events can almost certainly be tied to these sites. And now I'm here to see for myself what's really going on. I've just made my way up to a small gap in the first line of fencing. The security here is intense. Barbed wire, armed guards, feels like a war zone. I'm making my way over a small ridge and I... Mother of God! Ground shaking and... Oh my God. What is that? Hey, you! This is private property! Shit, it's that reporter. Jesus. He's got a gun! Gun? Wait, this isn't a... Bam. That probably has to do with the ultra site mining that we're kind of in the process of learning about in the southwest of the map. Um, but we're not entirely sure yet. We've still got a lot to uncover involving that stuff. <laughs> 